Welcome to the most famous lesser known mysteries of Florence. My name is Jake and I'll be your guide. In this episode we will discuss the mystery of the Chronovisor and how a young Florentine became world famous. Give me your attention and let's get started. The story begins in the year 1910 when the first transatlantic radio transmission was made between the United States and the United Kingdom. Marco Venturini, a young engineer born in Florence but raised in the United States found in a crated chronovisor, a device that could show him the future. The chronovisor he found was an invention by the American inventor, George Greeley, called the Instrument of Deceit. Greeley's chronovisor proved that the British Empire had been secretly plotting to overthrow the U.S. government. But these are only rumors! This invention in Greeley's accusations caused a scandal and the chronovisor was stolen by the intelligence service of an unknown nation. From that moment everyone thought it had been destroyed. Venturini's idea was this, see the machines they would invent in the future and rebuild them in the present. Venturini was also a talented painter, so he thought of painting pictures taking inspiration from the images of the chronovisor. These are Venturini's images depicting strange machines of the future. He exhibited his chronovisor paintings in the United States and sold them for a large profit. Eventually he decided to paint chronovisual images of the scenes around him on his canvases. Nobody however thought this system potentially feasible until the French scientist, Jules Renault and Pierre Jules Jensen, came up with the concept in the early 19th century. They thought that the machines they described could be reinvented using an array of sensors, motors, and controls responsive to the environment. Jake, listen to me. It's Jane. Do you think this avalanche of bullshit you're telling can interest the public? Because I don't think so. Damn you again! You always have to interrupt me. Doesn't it occur you in that little brain that you make me lose my concentration, my dear? Ah, uh, concentration. In the first video, we looked like shit because you couldn't remember anything. But really anything. So don't pose as a great actor. You're just an amateur. So since you want a war with me, do you want me to tell everyone what you did during Arnold's birthday two nights ago? Hi, you the usual macho filth, but it doesn't work on me. If you want, to remind you when you used to take selfies sitting on cakes. Yes. That's a very nice one to tell. I can't hear you, Jane. I can't hear you. Where is the audio switch? Ah, that's it. Sorry for the interruption. What were we talking about? Okay, so Venturini really built a new experimental chronovisor in the offices of the Academy of Sciences in Paris, where it was tested and exhibited. The new machines created were capable of generating almost any kind of product from ordinary polymers. With commonly available materials, the machine was capable of producing a thousand kilograms of plastic per day was also able to produce a wide variety of products, including plastic bags, plastic containers, plastic film, and even condoms. But one sad day the chronovisor was stolen again. Since that day we have had no news of Venturini. Urban legends tell that he escaped into the future in a machine he invented. Some people say he was lost in time, others that he's still alive. Some say he's a good boy, others that he's an alien. Some say he's the greatest hero the world has ever known, others that he's a villain. No one knows the true story. This is part of the mystery. What remains are his visionary images, jealously guarded in a safe in a Florentine museum. Here ends this most interesting documentary about a historical figure in Florence, its art and inventions. Many more mysteries will be revealed in other episodes and... Are you kidding or what? Well, tell me if you really think what you do makes scientific or historical sense. You are just a little huckster trying to sell lies for real history. Shut up, please! Your petty meddling will not stop my mission to reveal Florence's most unknown mysteries and inform the world. So shut your mouth and let me continue. I know. I know, Arthur Sclerosis, that your age is a normal thing, but I will do everything I can to kick you off this show. The company is tired of paying wages to incompetents like you. Bye-bye. This documentary was created entirely by the artificial intelligence and the creative mind of Andrea Bigarini, Papa Bear over and out. Andrea Bigirini, but who is this guy? I have to remember to kick him off the show too.